How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all having a great day or night whenever you open this video up. Because I've had a pretty eventful X amount of hours on Twitter. And I already made a community post of one of those, but we're not here to talk about that. Instead, we're here to talk about good old Hypocrite Hunter and him getting into some drama again between me, Smash, and... Well, it's just me and him, really. So, let's break it down. How did this start? What did Hypocrite do this time? Well, it started with him doing his little spiel on Griffin over Griffin's stupid-ass Resident Evil 4 failure clip. It was a cringe-ass clip. End of the day, nothing that bad. It was basically on the same level as Griffin spurging out over Ackman criticizing Vantard. You know, nothing major, but of course we all knew Hypocrite would be spurging over this one. And I watched it, and it's exactly what you'd expect. It's kind of dull. The worst thing he really does is take Griffin's sarcasm at face value. Zong Zeno with the two. Has anyone ever told you you sound like Leafy? Never, man. Not once. You know, it's, it's embarrassing when you have to copy someone else's persona, right? That and use some really shitty EDP joke afterwards, which... Ugh. Also, this doesn't really have anything to do with this situation in particular, but I just thought I'd mention it while I already mentioned his EDP memes and how he used one when criticizing Griffin over that Kratosis stream. Because that makes sense to use clips of an actual pedophile when talking about someone accusing someone of pedophilia that isn't there. Stay classy, hypocrite hunter. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. So anyway, someone eventually commented on that little video about how cringe he is for making 30 plus minute videos on this bullshit. Making weekly posts and constantly seething over Griffin to this day. But that's it for Hunter's spiel, so eh, whatever. You know, he's got some pretty good points here. But anyway, somewhere along the way in their little conversation, ship yeah here. Ended up making Hypocrite admit to stalking him just because he wanted to see what kind of loser he was. Which is beyond pathetic in itself, but the fact that he admitted to it, that makes it even worse. And he's recently tried to clarify, oh, I meant it as a joke, or I was just phrasing it that way for comedic effect or some shit like that. Either way, you still look pathetic like this. And following this, Nier made a tweet about it, which led to me and Smash both making tweets about it. And let's get into those ones real quick. I'm gonna save Smash's part for later, but let's get into my little tweet I did on that first. You stalk someone for being a loser while you obsessively watch someone you seethe over on a monthly basis. There's some grass begging to be touched. And... <laughs> oh, his responses to this were fucking... They were something. Let me just get into those real quick while we're at it, because he's about to go on to something even worse, but... Let's, let's enjoy a little bit of fun first. And I'm supposed to be afraid of someone behind a screen because... At first I was at a loss for words, so I showed this to my Discord, and Mario said the best fucking line, so I had to quote him on this. You're afraid of grass? That explains a lot, actually. And then we get to his little response to that. Huh? You literally have a picture of two guys staring at each other down as if they're going for a fight. I don't know if it's just me, but it screams intimidation tactic, my G. What grass are you referring to? I didn't know Charlie and What's-His-Face from Smiling Friends here are about to fight in this little picture here. I thought they were both just shocked and in disbelief at each other, but hey, that's one way to interpret it, I guess. And Smash said the best line here of, bruh, you can't be this fucking blind. So anyway, that was a fun little detour here, and you'd think that would be all he'd have to say. But no, he had to start a little drama. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself there, because this goes all over the place. In the time between me making that little tweet there, and him going into work, me going into work, shit like that, Hypocrite and Smash, they both went at it, and a bunch of fucking tweets going on about, oh, you obsess over this person, oh, but you obsessed over Hippozone, blah to fucking blah, back and forth. And Nier finally broke it up by saying, alright, this fight's really fucking retarded. Hypocrite Hunter stopped stalking supposed fanboys, it's weird to admit it. And Smash realized the hypocrisy in calling out Hypocrite Hunter for harping on Griffin while you harped on Hippozone. Can't believe I had to say this, laugh my fucking ass off. Which he's dead on money on because this conversation kept going around in fucking circles, bringing up things that really didn't matter, which ultimately fucked Smash over in the end, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. But I kind of figured this would be the end of everything, except it wasn't, because obviously I'm making a video here. And now we get into the real shit. So following this, after three people had caught him out on how stalking people is weird and doing this shit is just fucking stupid, good old Hypocrite Hunter decided to go coming through Smash's history, looking through his other community posts, videos, blah to fucking blah, from seven months ago. And he stumbled across this one that Smash made a community post or a video, I can't remember which one on about Hypocrite Hunter drinking at the age of 15 and shit like that. That's something Smash has really been flabbergasted by. I kinda understand why, but at the same time, oh well, it's a stupid ass decision he made. Ain't nothing anyone can do about it, except maybe take the L and move on from it. But that's not what Hypocrite did here by bringing this up. Instead he takes this little comment here that I left. Drinking is overrated and dangerous. 
Yep, like I said on your stream last night, I was an alcoholic until earlier this year, drank six Four Locos, which for those of you that don't know, Four Locos are about yay high and have about 14% alcohol per can. So doing some simple math, that's 84% alcohol in it. And I drank that in the span of five hours. Needless to say, I threw up and had a stomach ache that lasted the rest of the week. So that, plus my friend's disappointment, was a sign I needed to ditch it, and I'd been sober and better off because of it. You know, true story there, I used to be really bad about alcohol. I took it way too far, and I decided, yeah, I need to get better, and I did. Unfortunately, I relapsed at the beginning of this year because uh, I had a pretty shit start to the year, and uh, one certain situation in particular kind of made me need something to vent with, and I don't have an ashtray, so I went the easy route. I promised myself I'd only do it in moderation since then, and I just drank up what I had left of that supply, and I haven't touched it since. In fact, I had two cans on St. Patrick's, and I was like, God damn, this shit tastes so fucking awful. I hate the smell of it. So on and so forth. But yeah, I relapsed, but now I'm getting better again. But that's not really the point of this. Instead, Hypocrite decided to take this little story here and make this little gem of a tweet. That's weak AF. I totally expected better immunity and tolerance from Caucasians when it comes to drinking. And this is coming from someone who's from a race of people known to get drunk solely on one to two beers. Yeah, so the guy who admits to stalking people just went through someone else's history to find a comment of someone overcoming an addiction and calls them weak for it. I don't know what planet he came from to think that's in any way a good look, but that's what he did. And it only got better from here. And at first I found out about this by Mario showing up in my Discord and I was like, you little shit. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. You know, I kind of deserve it for putting a personal story on the internet like that. People are going to take it like that. It's not the end of the world, it's whatever. But it's real shitty and I had a few choice words. Your pansy ass would die from 80% alcohol in such time, but go off, princess. Feel free to prove me right, you little chwunt. And then I decided to poke a little bit fun at him being a little racist right there, the whole Caucasian thing, and saying, I'm black, y'all. I'll let y'all decide whether that's a joke or not. But then he had to act like a smug piece of shit in the reply, being, What's the matter? Touched a nerve there, edgy boy? Ooh, I'm so scared, ugh. And like I said, I wasn't really taking this all that seriously and such. I mean, yeah, it's a shit thing to say, but it is what it is. So I replied, Nah, just humoring your lame attempt at shade. I would love to play the Far Cry drinking game with the whiny shit like you. And Hypocrite, in his typical fashion of not being able to understand what a joke is unless it's spelled out in bright neon letters, responded with, You can't even drink as admitted by yourself in your comment. What's the point of even wanting to play that game? And I decided instead of making this whole reply chain and such, I'd do a little quote tweet back and forth, which is where this all ended for me, so we're just going to speed through those real quick. And I decided since he wants to be a dick about this, I'll be a dick too. Holy shit, he's finally learned to read. They grow up so fast. You said you wanted to play that game. Backtracking now, are we? Jokes and sarcasm must be like women for you. You can never pick them up. Sure, I'm supposed to take someone like you on the internet seriously when it comes to jokes and sarcasm. Setting aside the fact that he has a history of not being able to take jokes and sarcasm very well on many different videos, I don't know how you couldn't read that as anything other than sarcasm with me playing the whole Far Cry drinking game with him. I mean, if I'm willing to get that personal and explain how I got over an addiction on the internet, then yeah, I'm obviously not going to drink for real outside of very certain circumstances, like I said earlier. But anywho, that's as far as I went with it. Then comes Smash for round two, simply saying, Nier told us to stop, why the fuck are we still doing this? And he's right, this is absolutely stupid, this is really not a good look, and him hitting the reset button on this drama really is not a good look, but oh well. So anyway, they went at it. Again, I'm not going to go over everything because it's just really fucking dumb. It repeated a lot of things that were already said. But let's see what really stood out the most. So you stopped only because he told you to stop. Hmm, interesting. Also, what is it with you and your false equivalencies? Because you have been bringing this up ever since I dared to disagree with him over our drama months ago. You that desperate to own me? And you know, like I said, it's really stupid, but at the same time, the whole drinking at 15 has been beaten into the ground and has barely any relevance here. But I get why Smash brought it up, considering he's wanting to make fun of someone for getting over a drinking problem. But then it goes on to, you literally went to my post from seven months ago, bruh, do you have nothing better to do than stalk people? And I'm not even going to get into this one because he just wants to play semantics over what a jug and a glass is. Not apparently understanding how this little thing called perspective works. Anywho, then Smash said that it's pretty hypocritical of him, no pun intended of course, to be acting like it's all cancel culture just because he received some backlash when he admits to stalking people and shit like that. All because Nier called him out on this. And Hypocrite's response was, of course, but the minute he puts out a post criticizing me, you go back to the, oh, he's obsessed with Griffin, and oh, he dares to have one drink on holiday. Guess I'm not allowed to have any fun anymore. And then Smash again brings up the picture of him admitting that he drank at 15 and shows the little picture he did to celebrate the supposed holiday he was drinking on. And again, shout out to Mario here, but he brought it up in Sykes' Discord that there's literally no holiday anywhere on October 8th, which is when this picture was taken. 
So yeah, nice lie, hypocrite. Anywho, they kept going at it with bringing up more shit they are brought up, like the fact they made videos on Hippozone and Griffin, a lot of videos. And then somewhere along the way, Smash brought up Hypocrite Hunter's anime playlist. And I kept thinking, dude, just what the fuck is this? Apparently somewhere in Sykes' Discord yesterday when this all went down the first time, people got a little suspicious because of some of these little videos in the playlist, they, uh, they don't exactly look, uh, 18. However, Nier's confirmed there's no lollicon shit in it, all the sexual stuff is with adult women in the fucking anime shit. So there's no suggestion that he's a pedophile here, it's just regular old weeb shit, which is good enough. But anyway, the real kicker was when Smash jokingly asked if he should ask if he's in the lolly shit. And, uh, considering he was very, very quiet on Sean and all that, it makes sense, and also, again, the image is kinda sussy. And Hypocrite, of course, wasn't gonna give a direct answer. And all Smash said was, are into Lollicon. I know he meant to say, are you into Lollicon, but still. It's a basic-ass question, not an accusation. And there's just enough reason to make this somewhat understandable. And what did Hypocrite have to say on this question? Memes equal Lollicon now, sure buddy. Cause of course, why would you expect a direct answer from a drama whore like this? But it didn't stop there. Instead, he decided to make another really, really stupid-ass fucking quote tweet. There it is, guys. We have reached peak slander here. So y'all only went after Sean the Legend for the past several weeks only because he did something y'all didn't like. Glad I stayed silent and out of the way during that period. Setting aside the fact that a question is not slander, no. We didn't go after Sean just because he did something we didn't like. He started the drama, he escalated the drama, he kept it going, and all this just because people didn't like his creepy obsession. Shouldn't really have to explain that one, but apparently there are some dumbasses that still think Sean's innocent. Not even gonna get into that one. Just not even gonna touch it. So anyway, Smash had a few more tweets to say on this one, but I don't even think they're that worth it. This is just really fucking stupid at this point. Once I saw this autism, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get in one last time. Fair questions are now slander, it seems. Just go back to guzzling beer and whining over edgy humor already. Yeah, I was just done at this point. It was just getting really fucking stupid, and I just wanted it to end. But at the same time, this is so stupid, I just had to say something. And the wittiest thing he could come up with was, Yes, sir, you know what? I just restocked my beers earlier, so I'ma go do that. And I decided to end the whole thing by saying, Not like it's gonna make a difference in the amount of retardation you radiate. And even he apparently agreed by saying, Says the edgy boy himself, but sure, bro. And I decided, you know what? Not gonna touch us no more. If all these guys are repeating himself, oh well. That's the perfect place to end it. I'm going to bed. And he even liked the tweet anyway, so fuck it. It was clearly the end. Anywho, this all culminated in Nier eventually waking up and seeing all the retardation that had unfolded, and was especially disappointed in all the shit that Smash was saying. I was too, for the most part. He's a friend, but he fucked up on this one, and to give him credit, he did take the L after a while. Granted, it took everyone turning on him for him to see that he was taking things a little bit too far and such, especially over something mostly directed at me, but yeah. He fucked up, he took his L, and now things are basically going back to normal already. At the end of the day, I still like Nier's content, I still like Nier as a person, I still like Smash, in spite of him being annoying like this every now and then, and how he really drills things into the ground, and I still tolerate Hypocrite Hunter, even after this bullshit. You know, I'd like it if he did better content, but that's clearly not going to happen unless it involves Griffin, so... But anywho, this little shitstorm's been on my mind, and uh, I figured I'd make a quick little video addressing it, and have a little fun, just as a time capsule, you know? So, without further ado, I'm going to get back onto other shit I need to do, whether that be finishing up my Ackman response, or fucking the Q&A that I want to do by Sunday. One way or the other, I'm putting the pin in this whole drama right now, and moving on. So thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. ことができるようになるわけです。<笑>